If you're in the program, this is the CV and this is Abuja Network Center where the conversation will continue still centered on the hardship that Nigerians are currently facing. Uh, the Congress has slated today to embark on a, a nationwide protest and um, initially it was supposed to be an organized uh, label. But unfortunately, as of yesterday, TUC uh, pulled out, other civil society organizations are pulling out. And as well, the federal government is kicking against it, saying that there is a subsisting uh, court order that the NLC should not embark on any kind of protest. Now we are going to be looking at this vis-a-vis -vis what are the pros and cons, what are the reasons, why is it okay for the NLC to insist on embarking on protest? And is it also okay for the federal government? No. And then let's look at the other facts that all the people, the civil, some civil society organizations, the TUC, they are not backing the NLC. What could be happening with the uh, organized labor? Because this, I have the, these two gentlemen uh, with me by my far uh, right. I have uh, Mr. Otto. You're welcome. He is the chairman of uh, Good Talk Development Initiative. Uh, you're welcome, and by thank you for having me here once again. I have uh, Sam A.K. He is a public affairs analyst. Thank you, sir. Sir, I will start with you. Uh, Good talk uh, development initiative. Good talk. So we are talking. This is us talking about the situation in area. Now, looking at the fact that NLC was to embark on protests, though the protests have started already in other states, except for the fact that for now, as we speak, there's no sign of that in Abuja. And how will you uh, assess the fact that at this point, the organized labor union are not together on this? Well, um, first of all, um, I would uh, uh, constitutional prohibition for uh, uh, citizens to protest. So let us even look beyond only labor. Activity. Well, I listened to uh, Festus Osifo, the TUC uh, president, last night, and he gave his reason that uh, they prefer to proffer solutions, or the federal government should proffer solutions to uh, the problem at hand that is causing hardship. Well, I, I think if you look at it, um, Nigerian Labor Congress should be a mother body that other ones are com coming under them. And, um, if they insist on going on the protests, um, it is a legitimate right for uh, citizens and those less. And um, it is a constitutional provision. If it is a top of uh, court order, had you mentioned, uh, we should also ask the federal government do they obey the court order as it comes to them? So, so court order or not, uh, for has a, a time frame, it, it can be vacated. The issue is that they don't um, catch people when they want to express their feelings. These are prevalent situation. It is affecting everybody. So I, I, I don't see any problem if TUC and some other organization are pulling out if NLC is insisting on uh, uh, doing a protest. It's a peaceful protest. No one is bringing it. It is our legitimate right. So I think it, it's in order. And Sam, wow. that is it? okay that the organized label that should be working together at this point appears to be divided? Um, Nigerians should be taken care of. That's my own take. Organized label shouldn't be this body who is always antagonistic about government. Sometimes they should prefer solutions. Every time strike, protest, it's not the best. I saw TUC advising the government on what to do at this time. If the government can import food or subsidize food for citizenry, it's a good way to go. Subsidize transport for workers, it's a good way to go. But let's just go and protest. They say an angry man is a hungry a hungry man is an angry man. Nobody knows where such protests will lead us to. It is not the best time for us to hit the street to start protesting. We saw the answers. It took the grace of God to curb that protest at that time. 
there was no hunger. Now there is a hunger. Please, if I were a member of organized labor, I have uh, the president of NLC have direct contact with the federal government. He can advise the federal government properly on what to do. Come back and tell citizens that this is what I said we should do. And if government refuse, that's when you start pushing on protest here and there. But for now, they should start thinking of their own solution to workers. I know they are talking about increment of salary, uh, how to boost agriculture in Nigeria, how to subsidize. Since we are not subsidizing petrol, let's subsidize food. Other countries do that. That's where we should be, what we should be thinking and providing solutions to what, oh, the street and start shouting, we don't go green, we don't go green. It's not the best time. For but if you a meeting last year between the organized labor and the federal government and a certain agreement, some sort of agreements were reached. And on that note, the organized labor shall postpone the strike. And what the labor union is saying that these agreements have not been fulfilled and based on that no they, they, they are not going on strike they are only going on protest remember there was a strike class remember that based on the prevailing situation the federal government have started the trapatide uh, committee on reaching out to demands of labor that they are and they are on on the table with labor with the private sector, with workers. I don't think it's best when they have not resolved the matter on that right round table, they should start hitting the street. No. They should come out with their report from the party and tell Nigerians where what they have reached and where they want us to go to. But for them to now come out while they are still discussing and hit the street for protest is not the best. Time. There was a deadline. As the deadline allows. There was a deadline. As According the deadline. to Labour, it no. has. If there was a deadline in that, that committee, they are sitting in that committee as we speak. And the committee is meeting. And the committee has a time frame. Okay. Uh, to, uh, well, uh, also, I would like to ask you, now that we're looking at all of this, and uh, we talked about solutions and all of that, since this fuel, uh, the, remo the, the remo removal of the fuel subsidy, some of us, the major thing that the government has been doing is palliative and majorly has to do with food. Should we be going that route at this time? Well, first of all, I, I would like to say this. Um, after removal of full subsidy, and uh, government says I've seen that they have uh, more revenue according to states. Like last week or so, they've shared 1.1 trillion. To the three tiers of government. I think we should beyond um, do of uh, food. We need to ask questions. We have no money now, so why are we having a hardship? I think the labor should uh, go beyond um, having issues with the federal government. What about the state government? What about the government? What are they doing with the resources? It is on record that they they have been collecting so much local government. The governor. So what are they money? Because we expected that the removal of first subsidy will um, bring much money to the country, which we've seen they've been shared since since, the, since Nigeria had independence. We've never shared money the way we've shared now since the, uh, President uh, Bolatinibu administration. There's been so much money that have been shared. How can we be sharing much money and then it's not acted on the people? It's not seen anywhere. So so what could be the reason? Nigerians have to ask questions. Ask your governors, ask your laws at the state and federal level. What are they doing with the money? Why and when much money has been shared? This is the question you need to ask. It's not the time for people to have a like a attitude or be nonchalant about it that people are not bothered because they are not in the government. It is also important to know if you're in the private, private business, what happens in government will affect what you're doing because government is the, the, the biggest spender in the economy. So it is time for us to ask, ask the governors, ask the local government chairman and the rest of them, 
What is happening? More money and yet hardship is biting her. Being ambushed and hunger. So, I mean, you're talking about sharing food. First of all, how many people have collected? They are just doing the same thing. When you leave this thing, uh, politicians at the same private institutions do what they want to, like sharing whatever they need. But above all, I think if it is you're asking me for a solution to this issue, what brought the problem? It was the removal of fuel subsidy that has caused all this problem, this hardship. It did, and it did not work. The main essence of government and a proof of a good leader is that you listen to the people. The main essence that we're having government is the people. So if what the policy government is bringing about is bringing hardship to the people, I think the best thing they should do, they should reverse it. It was done here. It didn't work, and the government reversed it. What's her take? Well, subsidy be removed. No, subsidy removed. I, I, I don't want to believe there's subsidy in the first place. I don't want to discuss subsidy. But one but thing. But wait, let me, because even the guest in our sister station, Bini said there was no, there has never been any subsidy. Nigerians will be asking if there was no subsidy, how come? The moment the move was pronounced, everything, prices of goods and commodities, first of all, the pump price increased, doubled. How come? Well, why discuss subsidies? Because the previous government and citizenry, the citizens have lost trust in the discussion of subsidy. And one thing that keeps two persons moving is trust. I don't want to discuss the corruption that tax system. Look into our roads, look into our rails, then power. Power is essential for growth. So these are things I expect to hit. Forget about food, yes, people are. Let's go back to food. Let everybody let everybody go into a small scale farming and let's see in you have something to eat. But issue of uh, there is hunger it's true there is hunger but it's overloaded. That's the way I don't say that. Don't, don't, no, don't let no, no, no. hear you. No, it's it's true. There Do you agree, Mr. Otto? Do you agree? It is not over That is exaggeration. It is not over no, 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 let, 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 let me say this. Let me say this. Steve. We eat we eat rice. Eh? Everybody now rice is a common food in Nigeria. Just like a few months to speak today, rice is see my thing is since you are not subsidizing petrol, subsidize food. How to subsidize food is not much. You go to countries where you can import, import for this time, and then invest in agriculture. In a few months, you see the result of agriculture. I saw a governor, one of the governors of the Northern State, a lot of tractors, a lot. And he said, that's the first phase. That's the first phase, second phase, third phase. He, he wants his state to feed the country. That governor is going on the right track. Okay, back to the issue of hunger is saturated. What is hunger is not being saturated. <laughs> what that is that when people are oppressed by the oppressor to demand for freedom, you don't see just, people are hungry. It is obvious. It's seen. Where, I mean, it's not something that we it should be said is people are bloated. It, it is. It is. It is normal in other civilized climates for government to do subsidy. They do subsidy for power, for gas, so many. So it, is, it is not wrong for any government to, I mean, put subsidy for anything. It is for the betterment of the citizens. For example, the power sector he mentioned about uh, this year's budget, they have about, uh, I think, one point something trillion for subsidy on power. 
But if you look at the way they are doing it, the distribution companies are milking Nigerians. They are exploiting us. You don't give them power, and then people that are paying estimated billing, which has been abolished. So these are the areas. Government mentioned something that will make life meaningful to them, like in the area of power and the area now that we are, he's not, we are not subsidized. Well, they are, like he mentioned, we should have good infrastructure. Let there be just an environment that is comfortable for business to thrive. It is not wrong for government to, I mean, subsidize whatever the citizens need. It is in order. So, issue of hunger, it is obvious. It is showing on all our faces. Let it be, I mean, let nobody be sentimental about it. The cost of things in the market now, we all know how it is. Fuel subsidy, it is, it is, a, it is a, a chain reaction. Because fuel is the major thing that drives the economy in Nigeria. And if the, prices, the price of petroleum products is high, then it affects so many things we are faced. The thing is that government did not think very well. They didn't have any good plan before removing subsidy. First of all, our refineries are not working. Until to produce and refine fuel here with our own refineries so that we can buy it domestically at the price that Nigerians can afford, what we are seeing now will not stop. It is a simple truth. So there is hunger everywhere. There is hunger everywhere. My question, which I will still keep asking, government saves too much money as a result of the removal of first subsidy. So what is happening? Where are the monies? We need to ask questions to our leaders, to our representatives, our governors, our legislators, our chairmen. Where are the monies? Because we are, at least people are supposed to have sukkah. They're supposed to be reliefs. Like the palliatives, they say they gave, who collected it? When the same pattern, you give it to the same set of people and they will still do it the same way. Things need to change. Why can't they change the pattern of sharing whatever they need to share? So there is hunger in the land. And then hungry man, you know what it is? <laughs> An hungry man. Now to you, sir, we talked about uh, subsidizing, subsidizing uh, food. People will be interested, for me, I'm interested, if there should be subsidy for food, what do you think should be used to achieve that? Yes. Uh, one thing is, if certain food will be imported, the, the same government that is against importation. No, for now, the situation of the country demands we import food, food to cushion the effect of this issue of Oh, we are hungry, but I don't. So this I don't importation you are talking about I, is I, it that you are you, you are saying that only the government should import food? No, sir, as if well. people will import import food, you should give them the custom duties and so on. Government knows what to do so that it will be cheap for citizens to afford. That's where government should be thinking of. What government should be thinking of. If farmers are also producing, government should mop up and also help the farmers to produce more up and see how these things. But buying it and coming to share for people for free as palliative would never help anything because the people you give today will always wait for you to go and bring it for free to share. It will not end. They what? started this issue of palliative since COVID-19. Till today, we are palliative, 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 palliative. And nobody can say, OK, this is a certain number of people who have gotten certain palliative. No data, no accurate data. How many people have gotten? How, how sustainable it can you keep giving palliative? So what you do is to subsidize food since we succeeded in subsidizing fuel, as they said then. Eh? So subsidize food. Other countries do it. The U.S. do it. Food should be the cheapest thing in the country. Unfortunately, it is not. Good. In fact, as we speak now, food happens to be like, it's like a luxury you now. We have good lands everywhere. We to go into farming. 
encourage them to believe. The federal government is doing on the issue. They will have uh, rangers in our farms. And Said farms. they will they have. Know, they, uh, see, they, it's something God, the new government they have to create rangers for farmers. For, uh, in The issue of custom duty for this food is cheap. Reduce tax on this food. So, so if hormone, by the time this is, you can stop the food importation. And ask, ah, please. But as you, since the state governments and the local governments, they are all getting a lot of money. They should start doing infrastructure. Good roads here and there. The federal government should concentrate on the rail lines they have started here and there, then uh, power should be a priority. Then the policy, the issue of our exchange rate is also so the things driving this issue. Exactly. Yes. So the government should find a way. I don't want to they leave it for free flow. It will continue. It is free for. So we want it to fall down so that people, life will be easy for citizens. But I can tell you, most of the steps the federal government is taking now will yield positive results. The, the, as they are taking such steps, create a effect. The only way to create that effect is to subsidize food for now. Food, food addition for workers. That, and things will be better. Do you agree with that? I disagree because, um, first of all, the problem that I think is because of consumption. We are using anything. That's why currency is weak. You import things, and uh, when you earn foreign exchange, you're giving it out. So I think in the area of uh, security, we do something about security. If our farms are secure, Others are able to go back to the farms to do what they know how to do. Nigeria will have surplus food. So I, I don't subscribe to importation. If you continue importing, you continue to weaken the economy. This problem, it's about too much of consumption. And we are not operating. So if it's the security, all part of the country and people are able to go to their farms, then we can produce food. We have been. Why we're having this is one of the reasons is because of insecurity. Five people cannot go to their, their farm. So, so if, uh, governments have what it takes to any security. It, they have what it takes to any security. So if security is provided and people can go to their farms, we can have much food. Then in, in this, I like to say this, in this terms we are facing, things are so good. Um, it is because even across the country, um, lords are increasing rents. They are not even to what is going on in the country. It's look as if they are from it. Government should do something about it because that we're having around all over the country, people are being forced to look for money at all means to, to pay their bills. So there should be um, a rent contract. All right, I'll take that as a Last thing, what you said, you understand that we have to go back uh, to our uh, to our studio at Bini. Uh, we've been discussing the proposed the strike, that, the, the protest that was supposed to, to by NLC. It has started, but as far as Abuja is concerned, nothing yet. As I mean, we don't know. Maybe uh, after the program, we'll still hit the streets. We know what you know on the. Uh, planned protest by NL. Now we'll take you back to our beginning uh, where Philip is still uh, there on 